Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Today we're gonna fight Melania, but uh, before we do that, I wanted to show my character to see what kind of character I'm running. You can see my stats over on the right, you can read them yourself, but uh, yeah, I'm running 60 Vigor and 70 Intelligence. That's basically uh, the, those are basically the most important stats. Over on the left side, I'm using the Cold Zweihander with Waves of Darkness. And the reason I, I'm using the Cold Affinity is because Melania is weak to Frost. Uh, so that's why uh, I go. I went with that, and I'm uh, also using the Dragon Communion Seal for the Flame Cleanse Me um, incantation, just in case I get rotted. I'm uh, running the Carrion Knight set, which I've been using since uh, since I got it in Raya Lucaria. As for my talisman, I'm using the Green Turtle Talisman for stamina recovery speed. The Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman for physical damage negation, the Axe Talisman for uh, charge attacks, and the Earth Trees Favor Plus 2 for maximum HP, stamina, and equipment load. Uh, as for my Physic Flask, is there a way to show you? Yes, there is. I'm using the Green Burst Crystal Tier for stamina recovery speed, and the Opaline Heart Tier for damage negation. So those uh, came in handy. This is the character that, uh, that I'm gonna fight Melania with. So uh, I'm just gonna leave you here with the fight. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you on the other side. I dreamt for so long. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Switching to post commentary. This is my final attempt on Melania. I cut it together so that you can see the intro cutscene, but this is definitely not my first attempt. All in all, it took me about 20 attempts, I would say, at most. Uh, but it only took me about 5 attempts with this uh, current setup. I tried all sorts of uh, spirit summons, all sorts of strategies, uh, including fighting the first phase uh, alone and then summoning in the second phase. But uh, the first phase is quite difficult without summons, so uh, I, I just didn't feel like learning the fight, you know, and so I uh, sort of brute forced it. Um, so yeah, this is quite a messy fight. I would not <laughs> use this fight uh, for any educational purposes, but um, it, as you can see, I did, uh, I did kill her, uh, as you will see, I should say, but... Um, yeah, definitely Black Knife Tish is the best spirit summon for this fight. Uh, she dodges around a lot, so uh, it's very difficult for Melania to hit her and heal off of her. Uh, and she also has that health burn effect on her Ash of War. I don't know what it's called. Is it called Destined Death or something like that? But um, it does percentage-based uh, damage, uh, so that's that's really, really good. It also limits her maximum health, but that's not really that important. It's the health burn effect that um, that matters here, and um, 
it, it comes really really handy um, so uh, so yeah uh, again a very messy fight um, I just did it and I'm just showing it so that you know that I did it I suppose uh, it, just because I said multiple times that I would fight Melania uh, I said that and I suppose promised it multiple times throughout the playthrough so there you go this is the the Melania fight um, coming up on the second phase now <sighs> after I killed her I don't I, I was expecting some kind of uh, feeling of elation, of, um, of great pride and, and accomplishment and whatever, but I didn't. I just felt um, a brief sense of relief because I got it done and uh, I could publish the video for the playthrough. But beyond that, not much. You know, I just killed Melania. It's not my first time killing her, so maybe that has something to do with it, but... Um, no. Yeah, I don't, don't imagine I was jumping up and down my house and dancing and, and, and whatever. Uh, I just sort of killed her and, uh, you know, finished recording the video and then I just fucking went about my day. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't uh, you know, celebrate in, in any way. Maybe I will celebrate later, who knows. Uh, it's, still, um, <laughs> it's still early in the day. But, uh, but yeah, again, very messy fight. I am extremely lucky that I didn't uh, die. Uh, I, was, I came very, very close to death uh, several times. Very messy. I, I cannot say that I knew how to fight Melania or, I, or that I learned how to fight Melania throughout my attempts. It's just a brute force um, approach. But it worked. It, it goes to show that you don't have to be a god. You don't have to learn every detail of the fight or or whatever you can brute force it as you can do with the with the rest of the game so that's uh, that's a relief it's certainly more stressful than than uh, than the rest of the game but uh, it can be done and this is living proof of of that so yeah um what else is there to say i i got her to to the second phase pretty consistently uh, but it's the second phase that uh, that killed me a lot because um, depending on the RNG, Tish can start the second phase with l a lot less health uh, because she can take a lot more damage in the first phase. So uh, when she dies halfway through the the second phase, uh, that's kind of uh, you know discouraging, and uh, that's how I end up uh, dying to the second phase. But not this time, as you can see. I killed Malenia. Malenia is death, uh, dead. Uh, Malenia is also death. Uh, I'll tell you that. But she's also dead now. The demigod has been felled. We got her rune and we got the remembrance. She says something about Mikela. Ask me if I give a fuck about what she says and about uh, about Mikela. I don't. Um, I celebrate here with a bunch of emotes. I guess uh, just to <laughs> just to do something while she finishes her her useless speech but yeah there you go Melania is dead uh, this is technically the end of the episode um, um, or I should say practically the end of the episode um, I'm gonna say some more things after that but you can stop watching here uh, it's also the end of the playthrough so there you go a nice even 30 episodes for the playthrough I, I enjoy that um, so yeah, we get Mikela's needle. Uh, I explained in the last episode what to do with that. It's so that you can cleanse the frenzied flame if you if you want to. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this playthrough. There are some stinkers um, of episodes, but most of them are pretty good. I would say, I I would not feel embarrassed um, about this playthrough, and I I'm feeling pretty good. And I feel pretty good uh, knowing that people watched it and will continue watching it, hopefully. And thank you for, for watching it, and I do hope you have enjoyed it. As to what's next for the channel, uh, the next video is going to be a um, an opinion piece or a commentary video about the DLC. That will make it very clear why I'm not going to play the DLC for the playthrough. So this is why I say uh, the playthrough ends here. 
As for beyond that, I do want to play the Dark Souls games again. I think it would be interesting to compare uh, and to see how they hold up compared to Elden Ring. It will also be interesting to see how my knowledge of them holds up after two years, more than two years of, um, of only playing Elden Ring. So that, uh, that will be interesting. And then beyond that, I, I want to sort of play other games. I want to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey because that's my favorite non-Souls game. So I definitely want to play that. And maybe some other Ubisoft games, some other um, games from other publishers, who knows. But um, yeah, that's sort of the timeline timeline that you should expect the DLC video and then the Dark Souls games in order of release. Um, so that's that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the fight. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope you have enjoyed the playthrough. I thank you again for watching. Uh, I wish you a great day ahead of you and a goodbye.